Uh, Mila Goodchild, and Hickory Shore, and Pete McCauley. Good to we'll start with opening statement with one of the questions. Yeah, what a great, great and fun and exciting basketball game. Um, you know, hats off to uh, Troy. They are a seven senior team, and they play like one, and those threes at the end there were a little tough to take. But I'm very proud of our team and very proud of the rebounding in particular. To me, the story of this game is keeping them about, oh, I'd say nine, nine points below their offensive rebounding average, out-rebounding them, which is something that they have been doing just with almost everybody. Um, and then just the play, the balanced team play, the leadership from Haley, tremendous leadership from Haley and Mila, a great composure and poise. Um, and I think the rest, uh, I would say the rest of the team fed off of that greatly. Um, we had some other fun performances of people stepping up. Um, but I'm going to really focus on, as a coach, a fun game, really fun to watch and fun to be a part of and to rebound like that. That kind of rebounding prepares us for just, just about any level of rebounding, and that's really important. Questions? Hey, was it very much fun being out there? Yeah, it was. I thought uh, we all played off each other really well. Um, I thought Dee did a great job with those three assists, just moving the ball, attacking in the basket. She went to the free throw line seven times, which is great. But yeah, it was super fun. I mean, you kept on finding your teammates, and he was knocking down shots. Yeah. You feel like it was a thing. But they kept reminding me of little dogs that are always yapping at your feet. And, you know, it, and after all, you just keep usually sick of them. I mean, for a team with a bunch of five, ten players to rebound like that, it's a pretty unique matchup. Yeah, they were a really good team, really aggressive. Um, I must say, I don't think we've ever played a team like that. So, yeah, they're really competitive. Hey, the last game you had a career high tonight. You led uh, in almost every statistical category. So, um, how much room do you feel like you have to grow as a player? Where is your ceiling at? Oh, a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> That's a loaded question. I don't think um, I'm even halfway there. I mean, this team helps helps me out a lot, I think, with this group, uh, especially I think we're young. So I think that gives me a leadership role. But playing with them, is just it, it's been great, uh, I think, honestly, to them, really. Mila, you had a pretty big second half. Can you talk, kind of talk about what was your mentality and at halftime, what you guys talk about, and then what were you feeling out there in the second half? Um, yeah, just as a team, we were focused on continuing to rebound because it's the main focus, and I guess just moving the ball, finding each other. Um, yeah, we're swinging the ball, getting um, assists, lay down, Haley, and yeah, we're just finding each other. So I think, yeah, that was key. I think they cut the I think it got it to four points in the third quarter and third period. And, and just, just and both of you stepped up and made big plays. Just talk about what's going through your mind. What is the team saying to each other? What's coach saying to you? What's the response out there when all you look like a blowout early and all of a sudden you're in a ball game? Um, I think it's just about um, keeping poised. Um, we know our basketball, <coughs> we want to play their game. Um, so yeah, it was just focusing on doing our thing, running our plays, um, getting stops on defense, and then um, when the shots um, were open, knocking them down. And obviously, you get into the foul lines and that's at the team, you were able to do that in the second half. How is that part of your game maturing, getting to the foul line? Uh, yeah, I think that's, um, yeah. I think, yeah, it's definitely um, a focus to get to the free throw line. Like Coach says, it's an important part um, of the basketball game. Uh, um, yeah, so I think, yeah, um, as a team, we need to continue to get to the free throw line. Is 41 a record for uh, free throw attempts? No. Mm -hmm. You would have had a career high if you had missed all that free throw. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Another day. Another yeah. day. Very well. You played. Two of the three freshmen played a lot down the stretch of the game, with the outcome still very much in doubt. What are you seeing from them to give them the confidence to have on the floor at that stretch? I just think a lot, a lot of maturity and confidence. You know, Z has a lot of confidence. There was a part in that game where she put sort of put some things on her back relative to offensive rebounding and things that she did. Uh, she's a very confident player, and she gives us a great lift off the bench and also some diversity because of where she can play on the floor. Um, so that's super. Uh, Claude just keeps coming. You know, she was having a fun time with that number 20, <laughs> trying to figure out some things there. So she's learning and growing. She did a great job. Jen as well. And, you know, I, I love the game because I think it's really hard, you know, when you come out like that 
I mean, that's just a 14-point lead in the first quarter, but with any team that has that capacity offensively, it just shows you, you just got to be in every minute. You know, I think we had an exhale, and we got to some foul trouble, and that foul trouble, uh, we got some subbing going on, uh, maybe too quickly, and I think that we must remember just every, it, it doesn't matter what you've done, I guess is what I'm saying. It, it, you just got to keep playing, and that was such a great team and a great story because of their senior leadership and they were just going to always keep coming. So we had to come harder and smarter and with better poise, and I, I really believe the team did that. Well, same thing we didn't see, but we, we didn't saw anything. We saw any of Jade or Anna in the fourth quarter. Was that a matchup issue, with, or were you just not seeing what you wanted? I was, seeing, I was seeing things I liked, you know, with our lineup that we had, and that, we had foul trouble everywhere. You know, and when you get to that point and you have four fouls, you don't play particularly strong defensively. You know, you back off a lot, and there was nothing about back off about that game. There was nothing to do but to go, as you saw, I mean, I think the take Haley made from the foul line uh, kind of proves the point of what that game was, despite some wonderful spotting and shooting. And um, I felt really good about what we had going. And I thought that group, that group pretty much the third and fourth quarter had figured it out. Despite the fact, yes, I know they got hot down the stretch and they made <clears> some of those, but um, for the most part, that was a nice rotation, and um, I felt good about it. And maybe another day, those posts can, you know, they'll be the key to something that happens. Lucia came in and gave you guys, well, she didn't get a rebound, but she gave you guys valuable minutes. Can you talk about what you've seen from her in the last Yeah, Jenny's weeks? coming. You know, she's special on our team, and two or three, she did her business there, just some nice little lobs. And, and I think that although she didn't get a rebound, she got a little, caught a little bit underneath, but she sure changed things. Uh, she can change shots and dynamics. and. I think that was really good for her to be in that kind of game. That was a very fast game. Um, I'm sure there can be faster games, but that was definitely a fast game. So that was a challenge for her on both ends of the floor. So we're proud of Chen. Good for her, and she's got to keep on doing her thing. Mila, um, with your 16 fourth quarter points, that's not the first time like we've seen you really like get that switch when you need it most. I mean, with your performance against Notre Dame last year. So is there like just like that moment in the game where you're like, all right, I'm gonna turn it on now, it's crunch time, my team needs me? Um, I think uh, we always know our role in our team and um, I think when your teammates find you, it's your job to knock it down. So my team did an awesome job of finding me um, and setting screens as well. So yeah, it's my job to knock it down. I mean, there were 56 fouls, which makes a pretty choppy game. <laughs> you only have one, you, but you see you guys didn't do your part of the foul. <laughs> With, the, with that many interruptions, and that, I mean, is it make it harder to maintain the concentration? Because there's no flow at all to a game like that. Concentration, I don't think so. Flow, for sure. Obviously, we want to play fast when we can. But I think against this team, just the way they play fast, sometimes it's kind of helpful because we need to slow down as a team. But um, I think we did a really good job about that, to be honest, and despite how many times we went to the free throw line. But. You forced Nane to a travel lady. She's she's faking to you. Yeah, I told her it was my fault. I just had to take that turn over. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy.